Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with a, um, a project share for a YouTube pop that I decided to enter. Um, it is called Tis the Season and this was posted by Rachel over in the Facebook group called YouTube Crafters or something like that. Um, so it, essentially it's a YouTube hop for um, the start of the Christmas um, crafting season. I mean, a lot of us are just starting. If you've already started, then, you know, great for you. But um, so I, I decided to go ahead and make some things to get started on my Christmas crafting. And I'm going to show you what I made. And now I did pull out a, a, a collection from last year, which is the Simple Stories Holly Days collection for these items that I made. And the first thing I made is a... Um, a tag flip and I did use one of those plastic rings from the Michaels um it's like a little it's supposed to be like a bracelet pack or something from the kids section but I decided to go ahead and put it on this tag flip I thought that would be cute um and then I did decorate some tags what I did was I actually doubled up all of my papers because I um felt like the paper was a kind of thin for a tag flip and some of them were cut apart from the six by eight paper pad so they just felt a little flimsy i did double them up and i stitched all around all of my tags um and this one and i did also add some white um reinforcer hole reinforcers so on this one it had a sentiment here i covered it with this little tag and this little piece of ephemera added this little tree from the ephemera pack and puffed it up on some foam tape and added some of the little brads from the uh, pack. Uh, this one is fairly simple. It also had a flower on it. I covered it with a larger flower and just um, puffed it up on some foam tape, added some enamel dots and a little puffy um, flower sticker down at the bottom. This one, I just added a tag from the uh, ephemera pack. This is a... Um, a sentiment uh, cut apart from the 6x8 paper pad. I just added some little uh, chipboard hearts, some um, a little puffy ornament sticker here, and a little ephemera ornament sticker there. This one I added um, a little chipboard present, a puffy present, the joy is from the ephemera pack, and some enamel dots, and one of the little brads that says follow la I added um, a little bit of a sequin mix that I made for another project I'm going to show you in a minute. This was just what I had left, and I thought that would be a good addition to my tag flip. It has some little um, Santas from the uh, Michaels bottle that I bought, some little trees from the Michaels bottle that I bought, some candy canes from Target, and then some Cartwright sequins that I had on my stash in red, white, and like a silvery color and green as well. This one is just a plain plaid paper with an ephemera piece. Follow Law is a puffy sticker, added some enamel dots. That one's fairly simple. And then this one here is a, another cut apart from the 6 by 8 paper pad. Added the little Santa puffy sticker, that, this little Mary brad, and then two colored brads there. So that's my little tag flip. And I just added some tinsel trim, some um, like the chenille yarn, and some green seam binding. So that is my tag flip. I also made some very simple embellishments using some of my scraps. I just stitched some little pieces of paper together. Uh, I like to do this when I use up some scraps. It's just a great way to use them up. And I also it also allows me to use some of my ephemera, some sentiment stickers from my sticker pack, or my sticker book, some of the brads. Um, but yeah, chipboard pieces. It's just a great way... Excuse me, I have some some glue here, glue strings. <laughs> um, it's just a great way to use up some of your scraps and some of your bits from your collection. A couple more here. And Mary. So those are the little ephemera pieces or the uh, little embellishments that I made to play with this collection um, and then the last thing I made is an embellishment um, box I made it using a red box from the Dollar Tree um, I made this sequin mix that I just mentioned from the tag flip I stitched um, the red snow tool from Dollar Tree which came out at Valentine's Day onto some of the plaid paper from the collection this oh what fun is one of the foam stickers that also is a foam sticker this is an ephemera piece and then just for fun i took some of the um the snowballs from hobby lobby 
and just kind of glue them all around to make it look like there's snow all over like the front of the box. I was going to do some sort of trim, but I was just like, I kind of wanted to do something different. And I thought that kind of made it, you know, just look a little different and fun. And um, it just adds some dimension too. So did that. And then I also, on the inside of the box, oh no, <laughs> one of my phone balls came loose. Okay, I have to glue that back on. So hopefully that doesn't get damaged when I mail it off. I decorated the inside of the box as well, stitched around and added a, a chipboard piece and an ephemera piece. And then I just filled it. Um, so they actually, if I send this to both, or send both items, the embellishment box and the tag flip to the same person, then they're going to get double the, um, the little uh, sequin mix. I just have some of the little ho-ho-hos and Santas here from Hobby Lobby. Some little snowflakes and stars from Hobby Lobby, a bunch of those little snowballs, some tassels, some red and pink beads. I didn't have any green beads that really matched like the Christmassy. Some charms, some little pink puffy hearts, some red fuzzy like yarn pom poms, um, some jingle bells, some wire wrapped beads that someone had sent me and I just wanted to share some of them. And then some little wood veneer pieces. So that is my um, embellishment box. And um, yeah, so that is everything that I made for the Tis the Season YouTube hop from the YouTubers, uh, Crafty YouTubers um, Facebook page. I'll have everyone's uh, channels linked down below. Um, some of the women, I don't really um, know them very well. So um, I am going to be following along on watch and watching their videos, but I will also link all of them below as well. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. If you've not already, I greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.